until further notice. <coughs> hey guys, Block. welcome to another episode. A word? Upstairs. Right away, please. In the deep playthrough of World of Assassination, I played uh, yeah, a little bit before where we left off in the previous episodes. I messed it up all at the end. It's quite stupid. But so I'm now redoing it. And also I'm starting it a little bit early because there was one telephone call uh, in the previous episode of um, the constant that I think I, because I continued with the um, with the story mission, I pressed it away too early. So I uh, and will try to get that dialogue in this uh, recording now. Anyways. Right, now we have to listen to her again a bit. So, are you gonna tell me what the hell you're playing at? Just looking out for number one. Don't be an idiot. There's no future in coal, Block. You have one choice. Go green or go extinct. Now, personally, I don't give a shit if you go the way of the Dodo, but you are one of Ark Society's biggest contributors. We'd hate to lose your business. Besides, if terrestrial cold goes under, who will pay for your children's survival? Your grandkids. After all, nobody says disaster will strike in our lifetime. You have a moral duty to stay rich, Block. Nice try, but I don't have grandchildren. You just had to make this difficult, didn't you? Here's the deal, Block. My family and I, we serve a group of powerful individuals who prefer to stay anonymous. Letting the climate go to hell in a handbasket has served their interests well, but only up to a point. You see, they are sitting on some patents that'll knock your socks off. Weather control systems, recycling pollution as fuel, cold fusion, you name it. And they plan to make trillions protecting the world from the very threat they worked so hard to create. But to do so, they need you guys to quite literally stop fighting windmills. Huh. The truth at last. And what's in it for Jebediah Block? Gentlemen, please give me and Mr. Block a moment. you a carrot. Now, here's the stick. We know about Montana, Block. The mine collapse in 2015. It would be a shame if the American public got wind of your somewhat creative approach to safety regulations. No! There you go, Mrs. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to one of the boats in the harbor where it's quiet. You can use the kill switch to coerce. Right, this is the, the phone call that I pressed away. Let's listen what it's about. Mikhail, fill me in. <sighs> so, the transcripts are real. Janus really did call the estate in Romania? Could the signal have been faked or the dates altered? Don't underestimate Lucas Gray. That's a mistake we're not making again. If he wanted Janus dead, he is fully capable of tricking ICA to do his dirty work. Don't forget he's done it before. The real question is why? If Gray somehow knew about Janus, he would use him to get to me, not have him killed. Good boy. Yeah, that bothers me as well. Let's say Gray was just a figurehead and that Janus really was the true head of the militia. How did he make Cassidy turn traitor so fast? The man was loyal to a fault, and yet... Burnwood insisted that Janus and Cassidy work together. The only explanation would be if ICA knew that Cassidy could contradict their version of the story. But this makes no sense. What reason would they have to go after Janus? ICA is neutral. 
I need to think. All right. I actually already heard this whole dialogue okay. earlier in a couple of episodes or a lot of episodes ago in his office. Anyways, um, the Washingtons are dead. I have the kill Here we switch. Go. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves, no signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Burnwood's assassin. Move. All right. Escorting him to the harbor actually is a challenge. Which I will try to uh, complete. Partners no more, I take it. But I think it's futile I because I will... something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. I... You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Arrive at the harbor with him. I Not will uh, separate anyways. He had it coming. Interesting. To get my own disguise. It was my impression that you were cured of such Before leaving. sentiment. The and good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? I wonder. Just keep walking. Anywho, I also, there's also well, we're near where my uh, 47 suit is, in which I would like to exit. There is also a safe. That's where I failed at the end of the previous episode. With a, a hint to the My real identity Kenny of the Constance. Hand hand the uh, and I already got that earlier, but I would just like to get it now as well. Just as a... Um, For what it's worth, Jane has as an extra found challenge. Ortmeier's project distasteful, not to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Uh, so I think... Oh, I know. Ortmeier is the doctor that did the whole 47 the cloning trying to persuade Janus's project original five to embrace the green as kids, I think. A good day to you, sir. The original five are all energy. Not super sure, but it uh, would be um, logical. Because 47 and Did also... Mr. Gray, Lucas Gray, I think he's called. I Agent take it six. this is not an ICA sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it for us. us. For over a month. I have some of oh, the world's most prominent people waiting to the pay their drops. last respect. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? by not existing in the first place. Yeah, so that's Lucas, Lucas Gray. Lucas Gray. Or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners, the men behind the curtain who've caused you all this pain? Well... Before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not load-bearing. Right, whatever. But, um, yeah, so that Ortmeier is probably the doctor that devised that whole scheme whereby Agent 6 and 47 and probably a lot of others were like, um, clones and conditioned into becoming, uh, perfect killers and stuff. And 47's memory was wiped. Lucas Gray, uh, number six, his memory wasn't, I think. By the way, nice uh, tile textures here. Looks really quite convincing. Uh, but yeah, and now in this game, Agent 6 and Agent 47 hooked up again. Very happy with that. I really find Lucas Gray a super cool uh, character. And now I did escort him to the boat, but I will not immediately exit with him, so probably I will not get that challenge anyway. Maybe. 
Maybe I will. I don't know what the uh, trigger is for it. So he is here. Let's wait if he says something from himself. No, but if I walk away, then he will say something. I'll be at the harbor then. Why have we stopped? Did you change your mind? Alright, because he's saying that, I think that breaks the challenge. Uh, escorting him to the harbor, even though I did. But he said he says something generic. Probably what happens if you leave him midway, then it makes sense that you fail the challenge. But I actually did bring him all the way to the uh, boat. So, in my view, I should have gotten the challenge as well, but whatever. I prefer exiting in my own uniform above getting that challenge. I'm not trying to do all the challenges. Okay. Holy shit. That was stupid. Almost got spotted. up like I did in the previous episodes. Man, okay. are we already 20 minutes in the episodes? What? Shit, oh fuck. They're super perceptive here. Exit over there, indeed. I think it's base jumping exits. Something along those lines. But it's locked. Alright, now there's one thing I must not screw it up here. I screwed up earlier. So the guy is over there. I will just make him go over there. Strange. Possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. Over. Possible intruder. Over. Right now, I would 
like to quickly before we go open up that safe over there just for role playing as well it contains some information possible clues on the true identity of uh, of the constant which is of course nice to have all right but that does mean uh, the constant will not be down below but one guard is plus the um glad to know they don't realize the guards how do you call it the butler the butler is an enforcer I cannot hear their dialogue anyways because of the loud music. Right, I forgot where I even threw the coin. Alright, I totally screwed this up. I forgot where I threw the coin. Try it. Nope, nobody's hearing that. Where did I throw it? Down there, right? Um, so I will. Let's see if he comes over here. Don't think so, right? Really have to throw it here. And then once he is up there. Throw it over here and then a little bit further over there. All right, there he goes. All right, and now the question ah, uh, fuck, he could spot me by the way. Oh shit. Pretty sure I screwed it up now. Ah, not nice. He could have spotted me if he would have looked a little bit to the right. The, my only hope was that it's actually not a uh, enforcer. All right. By the way, let's leave this body here. I will probably hide it down below. I assume there will be a chest here as well. It's all about taking out this annoying dudes. And tower key. And let's see if there's anywhere to hide bodies here. There should be, right? Uh, there really isn't. That's so annoying. What am I overlooking here? to hide bodies really uh, annoying all right a journal and we will also be where was it there it is we will be shooting that one but let's first get the body out of sight that ship contains the coats and Janus also carries the coat himself but we cannot touch Janus Let's just for the roleplay put them all neatly into the uh, bathroom. So, but what 
if we throw a cannonball over it. That works. And there is a safe code. I'm not sure whether anybody will come in because of the sounds. By the way, pretty cool. If you look at that um, picture over there, that is actually the Skill Islands. Once it was uh, in its own time, like when it was not like a relic of the past, but this is like, I don't know, 16th century or so. And it, it actually looks exactly the same as the layout of the map. Like with that bridge in between the two towers. And then you have the storage facilities. It's all pretty uh, well done. I really like it, this, this layout. By the way, what was in here? An X and some notes. On the 25th February 2009, the chief constant of blah blah blah. come in if I shoot that glass maybe maybe it are secret documents will anybody come in I don't hear anybody can we pick them up no we cannot by the way pretty cool this um, and just this whole room these cupboards, etc. I'm looking forward to that Hitman 3 game in the castle, Darth Moor, at that level. It will probably be a bit similar, I guess. In vibe. Here we go. And that's the intel we wanted. Briefcase as well. Um, no, I cannot use it on those uh, pipes, anyways. I think. Let's take the bus. And let's get the hell out of here. Uh, ah, let's be neat. Ah, no. I cannot uh, store it in the bin because there's already another one in there. Unless it are the same weapons, then I can just retrieve this one. Yeah, pick up this one, then it becomes one, and now we can store it. Like so. If you pick up a weapon that you're already carrying, it, you only, I guess, take the uh, ammunition from it. It actually merges with the one that you were carrying. It's not like you get two, um, two pieces of them. Alright, can I get down there? should have looked first whether that guy was looking in my direction I didn't do it could have been uh, a spot or could have gotten me spotted so I'm an idiot
Alright, that worked. device and we are also taking with us the constant but now the question is can I even get it over there yes all right let's do a double check on the silent assessment rating Yes, we're still silent session, very nice. And that concludes the game, goddammit, at least uh, the second game. Here we go. Enough talking. You'll do plenty of that later. We're here. Get on the boat. trying to do all the challenges etc I'm just trying to go for from a first perspective at least explore all the areas and then uh, any hints that I may pick up through dialogue and stuff and, and set up kills I will do those kills I did uh, them during exploration not necessarily silent assassin but just uh, triggering some of those kills and then now I did uh, in the previous two three episodes or including this one, I actually went uh, with the Silent Assassin run, saving like two uh, mission story kills for that Silent Assassin run, not having done them uh, earlier, only uh, before I only did like other uh, kill opportunities. And then, uh, yeah, let's just, or just get through it as thoroughly as possible, but not necessarily 100%, because if I would do that, each challenge, etc., that for instance here, that also means picking up all the commemor commemorative tokens, uh, which are 30 tokens hidden throughout the level. Yeah, that could, uh, well, I would really enjoy doing that. It, it just would take too much time for me to get through the game if I got 100% each level uh, uh, of it. So yeah, this is uh, the approach as thoroughly as possible, at least five star Silent Assassin, Master Difficulty, uh, level and with the silent session rating as uh, an outcome and at least always 
uh, also exploring all the areas, all the uh, unexplored area uh, icons on the map must be cleared and then just doing as much as, um, as possible uh, while coming through the level and that's, then you get like um, a score like this, like 16 out of 20 uh, mastery and still quite some little challenges to do but yeah, as mentioned doing all the challenges, some are very obscure even or even rep, yeah, a bit stupid that, um, yeah, that is not the, the objective. It's just getting through it as thoroughly as possible um, and not necessarily as fast as possible. As you can see here, I really took my time, 47 minutes, uh, actual play time for these uh, two sections with one save in between. Um, but yeah, so th that is that, I will stop, um, blabbering about and let's quickly still watch the cutscenes for the next one or actually the final cutscene of the game I would say because the next level actually is a DLC level it's not part of the uh, the main game so to say here we go right we have um, a chapel pickup location cistern pickup Mork pick up Hyperborean showrooms pick up warehouse pick up or conceal location kitchen conceal gatehouse Ah, that's where I went through very often. Um, conceal location, Durandal, the sword of Roland, Paladin of Charlemagne. All right, we have a new sword, but without the um, actual uh, image loading. Mace, effective as non-lethal blunt weapon. Looks pretty lethal to me, if you ask me, but who am I? That was the same, by the way, in, um, I think, Assassin's Creed Unity. There you also had like maces that looked totally uh, like those medieval spiked iron balls with uh, spikes uh, in 360 degrees um, covered um, iron balls. And then they were uh, marked as um, non-lethal blunt weapons. That's super funny. All right, lethal syringe mark two. The mark two look. Electronic hacker. Into a keycard reader to bypass the lock. Can only be used once. Right. Seeger 300 tactical. Designed for precise medium range engagement. Modded to have higher accuracy. Uh, all right, so you can be a marksman. You can uh, do bullet time effects with right trigger, versatile scope and suppressor, but it's not subsonic, so it will still be um, hurts the location where the shot is coming from, from quite a distance. If you really want to minimize that, that they only focus on the, the, the impact location instead of the uh, shooting location, then you need to have like a subsonic uh, attributes in these uh, for these weapons which this one doesn't have this one has scope marksman and suppressor uh, infiltration uh, starting location civilian close near the chapel ah, that's that tower I think indeed keep what the hell is the keep uh, that's where the, um, the no that's not where the cannon is is that the cannon no this is uh, the top of the um, constant tower i think it's not a cannon what you see uh, a little bit to the left of the middle it's uh, it's a telescope all right kitchen area really wasn't there that much, only went through it while exploring. Warehouse, 
reception area disguised as a waiter. Executive briefcase mark two. This physics bending briefcase is designed to induce fear and terror in whoever gets in its way. With a throwing speed tweaked for maximum style, <laughs> there is no end to the possibilities this item offers. Of course, it sports the signature Mark II look, the ultimate mark of superb, superb craftsmanship. Could be used to hide illegal items, but that is clearly besides the point. Pretty funny. Maybe I will uh, use as a, a suitcase as a melee weapon. Feather duster. An Durable feather duster, sturdy enough to knock someone out. Pretty funny. And that was about it. A bad hand. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlyles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one. Miss Burnwood is untouchable. Holy shit, 47 murdered Diana's parents. As a hitman. But of course also as a boy, so I'd say. Oh, that was so annoying. That happens more often. It starts just over. We weren't at the end yet. So we have to watch it again now. Because I do want to see the ending of the uh, of the cutscene, and or it's not really a cutscene; it are cut pictures. Um, anyways, uh, I cannot fast forward it, so bear with me. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance? Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. 
Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. Here, I must admit, I, I am thought disappointed, Miss Birdwood. First went this picture. I, I had thought such it was big plans for wrinkle, you. Wrinkle. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you were so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable. not that much extra compared to the first time we saw the cutscene uh, because it was already it looked like it was already at the end uh, but also really I, I'm not uh, or I don't mind that much watching it again because there was like this middle picture of um, the constant and somehow the first time I watched it I thought it was um, a big or a, um, a scene of 47 and I was like holy shit he has a lot of wrinkles, but of course it was, it wasn't for Stefan. I was just being an idiot. Anyways, I am pretty happy with uh, how it went. Um, let's quickly, yeah, or shan't I? I want to say, see if there uh, are any obvious challenges that I should have done. No, I don't think there is. I have the descriptions turned off. Unless I already completed it, then the description automatically uh, pops up. This is, for instance, the one uh, with collecting all the coins. I think 30. This is, uh, yeah, that you have to startle or you have to kill both uh, targets as the, uh, dressed in the burial robe of, ja of uh, Janus. Yeah, so there are quite some thingies to do. This is killing musicians while dressed as a musician. Yeah, or taking down, I don't know, but I find this a really weird one. Why would you take out the musicians? This is the, uh, the switcher redo, I think, when getting the uh, Aztec necklace, which we did. And you can replace an apple there, I guess, for this challenge. I did not do that. I wasn't aware. This is also probably during the, the wake of Janus when you're disguised as his body. Just jump out the casket and uh, freak out everybody, I guess. This is just killing the constants by uh, activating the, um, the kill switch in his neck. Which then fails the mission, but it, it completes this challenge. Because one of the objectives of the mission is to keep Janus alive. Uh, this is also a weird one with a fish 
putting a fish in the casket or something. I have no idea. This is uh, killing somebody with his hammer and sickle statue. I was not aware where this statue was, probably in the warehouse somewhere. But we already took out uh, in the previous level in Whittleton Creek, we uh, killed uh, Janus with the hammer and sickle in his basement. So yeah, I don't really need to see it again. This is a pretty fun one, but also very gimmicky. Dressing up uh, in the uh, armor of a medieval knight and then with a shovel taking out a certain level of enemies, a certain number of enemies or NPCs. This one is also, I think, knocking out a certain number of NPCs with one of these, looks to be kind of Fabergé eggs. They are called a little bit different in this game. I'm not sure, I forgot. This is also one that I don't really like killing uh, NPCs with the um, uh, gates, the, uh, the castle gates. Uh, I forgot what the name is for these uh, roll up um, uh, gates, but um, yeah, that involves killing uh, random guards, which I really try to avoid. This is just uh, taking down the two targets and these are the classics, meaning um, uh, sniper assassin, silent assassin, and then you also, I still, I'm not sure how this works. It's all quite convoluted. Um, so you have like silent assassin, And then this is, yeah, I think, Sniper Assassin, but then you have Silent Assassin times 5. And then you have Silent Assassin times 12 and times 17. I think, I don't understand how that works. So that's probably while being Silent Assassin, doing challenges. But I almost, I did the majority of the challenges already. So I've, unless it are specific Silent Assassin challenges, I don't know what those are, if they are not like the random challenges, like uh, the ones here. Like, how many are these? These are 19. Ah, it's, yeah. No, I, I have no idea how this works. It's all so freaking conflict in this game. So I assume this means Silent Assassin doing five regular challenges while in Silent Assassin status. Then over here you have, I think it goes to 12. Or this is then 12 and this is 18 or something. But I have no idea how to do it because I'm not even sure. I don't have 18 challenges left to complete. I only have like, yeah, maybe I do by the way. If feats and discovery, if that all is uh, our challenges, then maybe I do have them enough challenges uncleared to still get this but yeah it would be super handy if the description would be a little bit less obscure complete five silent assassin challenges because it seems to imply that there are dedicated challenges for silent assassin besides the regular challenges but i don't think there are because if there are then where are there icons or descriptions or anything yeah, to be honest, this is why I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with the game. Hate is a big word because I really do like it. But uh, one, because it crashes way too often, but that could also be my television. I'm not sure that is somehow giving a wonky, giving a vague signal back to the GPU and then uh, everything crashes. I don't know. But at least this it's mostly this game that crashes a lot for me. Um, and also the repetition and then also these these menus they are so convoluted um, yeah that detracts a little bit from um, the game getting like a totally perfect uh, uh, score in my book although the most important part of the gameplay that's certainly up there so it is still an amazing game anyways i'm really rambling on in the next episode we will be going uh, with this level social climbing no i 
did all of these, so these are mission stories. This was the in the council, this one I think was the one where we informed the constant about betrayal by Diana and this one was just the Janus Wake I guess. Anyways we will be continuing in the next episodes. Let's see if already a cutscene starts. Ah, yes, there is one. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Ah, now we have real Tell cutscenes. us everything about them. She is such a hot lady, I find Diana. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done, let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it. Seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Man, this color town is amazing. It looks almost like a movie. looking forward to this mission I understand it's a bit more focused compared to the, the mega missions in Hitman 2 main game uh, anyways we will be doing that in the next episode guys hope you enjoyed I hope to see you there for the meantime do not forget always do keep on gaming Slater.